Hello, Cadre. I'm trying to figure out what day it is. Uh, Sunday. Sunday, I get tomorrow off though. I'm maxing out my PTO again, so taking tomorrow off. I'll show you, I got a new brush I'm using and we'll be using a new blade today. So this is a, a Mule, M-U-H-L-E, uh, you can see there. Um, this is birch bark. Uh, it does feel like cork. Somebody asked if this was cork when they saw a picture of it. Uh, it does feel like that. It's kind of soft texture. What's interesting is, check this out. The knot is, it just screws in. Uh, I don't know the reason for that. Um, I guess maybe because this is metal. This is a pretty beefy handle, even though it's it's a small brush. So here's like a paladin. So you can see it's almost, I almost thought it was like travel size. It's a little bit small. Anyway, uh, maybe that's the only way they can connect it since this is metal here. But um, it's a uh, silver tip badger. Uh, so I had to soak it. So I'm going to make up my lather here now. We are using Tobbs Taylor Hall Bond Street Eaton College um, in honor of uh, uh, my wife. My anniversary is today, and uh, one time when she was in New York on business, uh, she took some of her time and went to um, Pasteur's Pharmacy, uh, world famous for all the uh, shaving soaps and aftershaves and things that they have there, and the uh, I felt bad because she was trying to send me pictures and show me stuff and, uh, and I think it's, you, you got to be there and smell the stuff for yourself and and, uh, and I know that the, the aisles are very narrow so it's kind of hard uh, to take pictures and videos there so anyway she picked this one out she liked the smell of this so I got this and the, the scent that goes along with it from that trip. So, and it's a, uh, it's a cream, so it's not taking long to whip up a lather here. It's pretty soft. There we go. I think that is ready. And, uh, so last video I used, uh, these, uh, which I probably shall never use again. So we'll go ahead and, uh, take the hospital blade out of the Psycho here. Oh man, it looks like it's rusting a little bit too. And that wasn't that long ago. Um, but I got another one. Um, it's ASR for hospital use. We'll be trying this one today in there. Uh, ASR stands for, I saw it on here, I thought. ASR Products Corporation. Maybe I didn't. New York, finest quality surgical steel. Is it on another one? Oh, yeah, interesting. The backs are, or did I miss it on here? No, the backs are a little bit different on these two. American Safety Razor Corporation. It says on one, uh, not on the other. To open the one, it does not say that, so I can have that to remind me. Uh, that's why I've got my glasses on, so I can actually read this. So look at that. Got a little, little cross there. ASR, and then it's wrapped in kind of like a tissue paper here. Ooh. Look at that. Black or dark, dark. Blue, something like that. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we shall see. So we'll load this back up in the Psycho. I, I thought for a moment maybe I should um, use uh, the Rockwell 6S, which is, to me, the best DE razor we've got out there. Uh, that I use. Uh, but it's perfect, so no reason to change from perfect, but, uh, no, what, 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 what fun would that be? Um, cause they're not using a Rockwell 6S if you're, uh, shaving with this blade in the, in the hospital. Alrighty. So, here we 
go. And this has a, has, unfortunately this brush has a little bit of funk to it. Um, and I'm not, well, I don't precondition my brushes or anything. They get, they get broken in by use. So we just wait for that to go away over time. All right. Let's see. And don't, don't worry. Uh, apparently, uh, Major Rich's wife, Christy, when I used the uh, hospital blade, was unpleased uh, with how bad it was on my face. Don't. I'll let you in on a little secret. This looks just like a little, little bathroom here. That's for YouTube. People like the homey feeling. We are in... This is a huge, I'm in the corner of the sound stage. I obviously have hair and makeup done and I put on my stunt face for when we're doing uh, stuff like this. So, um, and I'm trying to, no, sweet mercy. I'll try the other side. All right, this, um, could possibly be worse. That's a uh, take your breath away um, awfulness. Let's ride the cap a little horn. See if we can. Oh. Can you see the, the whole razor is chattering? Oh. All right, well. You know. There it goes. You know what? So what? Let's go ahead. I've got the got the got the success right here. It's got a Wizamet blade in there. I know that I've gotten my three shades off of that, so it's got to come out anyway. Um, where did I put the key for the cycle? There it is. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> My parents said, don't you feel awful for the people that have to get shaved with these things in the hospital? Um, yeah, that would, that would completely suck, especially given that it's probably not your face that, that is happening to you. Well, maybe it is. I mean, if you're there long term and back in the day and you had to shave, maybe that's what they gave you. But uh, I assume most people know now that uh, you are not being shaved ever with an actual blade in here. You should not be being shaved with an actual blade anymore. So there we go. Can't see it in there, black on black. Um, with an actual razor blade prior to surgery or anything. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, so it made a little weird noise and I was like, Maybe it didn't seat quite properly. Maybe I should check. And I thought, well, no, I'm making a video. I don't want to waste the time. <laughs> it's so bad anyway. So this uh, makes it tolerable. Um, one side is rougher than the other. Yeah, all right. So... Just one pass with this one too. Oof. Boy, oh boy. So anyway, I was saying that you get, you get, even if you had a good razor, you get uh, micro abrasions in your skin when you shave. Obviously you're, you're scraping your hair off with a super sharp blade, makes sense. Oh, so the, 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 Hair removal on this one is not even as good as the hospital blade was. Um, oh, all right, there we go. Uh, so anyway, it, it increases your chance of getting an infection since your skin is your primary defense against bacteria and boogers getting into your into your body, and then. Uh, it gets all scratched up and irritated. I don't know how many shades is on this. I didn't have it 
Obviously, you didn't chance to look it up. Wasn't planning on using it today. Uh, but I, and, and I need to look. I know I'm coming up on 300 straight shaves. Uh, which is a neat little milestone. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, Keep mentioning this is a feather. You can hear there's still a lot of hair on there after that one pass. We'll get her BBS, don't worry. Um, replaceable artist club blade in here, so it's not a straight razor. So uh, depends on your definition and how picky you are. A uh, few of those 300 or with an actual straight razor, uh, some with a weck, a hair shaper blade in it, uh, some if I'm using a shave it with a half of like a DE in there or something, I call that a a straight shave but I would say probably at least 250 of those are with this guy right here um, what am I doing that's the wrong yeah I'm all so this, this I'm doing this is my last I did the second pass on my cheeks but this is what I do for the last pass on my neck we'll see That's all right. I'm, I was planning on uh, doing a little selfie haircut again today or tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it today, and if I'm not BBS, then I can use a second shave for the day anyway. So I'm counting on counting shaves uh, for those that do. Uh, some call these just open blade shaves versus straight shaves. However you want to term it. I don't know. This is either somewhere between 298 and 300, this one. That would be cool. If I was more into editing the videos and stuff, um, It'd be neat to put, so when I do my journal entries on, on the shaving cadre, it always starts with uh, how many shaves for the year, and then how many of those were DE or single edge or straight, um, and then how many uh, running days total. Just because I like data. And it can be a neat motivator. Here I've been. So, yeah, so that's the third pass on here. So now I'll come back and do what I do for the second pass. Yeah, you know, there's still hair there. That's for sure. I can hear it. Yeah, my cheeks still have. Yeah, there's still quite a, it's funny Dave, Barbara Dave mentioned this, and normally I don't do that, this direction on my cheeks, but there's so much hair there, let me get rid of it, about, normally the traction is you're pulling against which way you're going, so I pull down and go up, um, and a lot of these I'm pulling and heading towards my fingers, I don't know, it's, I just kind of did that, started doing that once, but part of it is, I don't know, John. I guess I could do this. It's kind of just. Yeah, I guess that works. Never tried this strangle yourself technique. Oh, I'm going to use this down here. Um, but a lot of times it's just the skin is just slippery. Like right now, I don't think I could pull any meaningful traction down here if I want to go up. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. All right, guys. Alright, 
Are we all good? See, Kristen, no blood, no blood. We're okay. We're all right. Plus, uh, I'm a trained professional. done today. Bought so lots of big changes at work this week. Won't get into all the details, but uh, the economy hits every everything and he's in the hospitals. Um, so we're seeing some of the ramifications from that this week. Uh, so there's a couple of days that were just loss of sleep and stressful enough that I did not uh, get any schoolwork done. Um, I'm where I'm at, uh, where I need to be at though. I'm not behind, so I like to start getting pre-work done for the next week, the weekend before, so we'll do that. Plus, uh, you know, all the kids are Zoom classes, so they try to do them from their rooms, but uh, we've got a downstairs main room with a, our actual computer in it that's hardly ever used. Um, but they had to go downstairs to do their, their uh, gym, gym class sometimes. So they've got space for doing the uh, jump rope and whatever, whatever they're doing. Um, and then, and then Wi-Fi is just an ongoing struggle and I feel bad for them. There's women makes you feel better. Uh, just because they don't need that hassle, but you know, the house Wi-Fi, you got three people on Zoom calls all at the same time, four if my wife is at home and working and needs to do a call. Uh, dry that down a bit. Um, and then uh, it's, you know, spread out enough that uh, the signal is spotty in a lot of the house. And so they've got uh, those uh, hot spots that seem to be slower than Wi-Fi anyway, and I don't know, it's just, I mean, I think every day they're, they have glitches or getting kicked out of classes or what have you. That's too bad. Uh, so anyway, I was going to say I might, I want to start work on a paper, and since I'm going to use a computer downstairs, which sometimes they default to since it's hardwired, if nothing else is working, maybe I'll do that today so I'm not taking that up tomorrow. I'm trying to find, oh, here it is. I've got... Um, I won't keep the video going all this long, but uh, we will do, I did the uh, there's getting low, getting low on the two and one. I know you're all interested in what happens when I switch to the new bottle. Looks like it's got a different formulation. You maybe have to try something. They've got a Nivea Deep. It's not a two in one. It's a dark bottle, but apparently the smell is really good. Um, and I think it's a balm versus, I don't even know what you would, cause it's, I guess this is a splash, um, but it, it hydrates really well. Um, I want to try that and it's cheap. Like on Amazon, it's like three bottles for 15 bucks. Um, I think it even went on sale for less than that once, um, but I'm kind of, kind of dedicated to the two in one. Anyway, I'm at this point, I'm just rambling. Um. Should we let this dry a minute? We haven't done talc uh, for a while on camera because I haven't done many videos. Well, this, somebody said, uh, who was it? Uh, somebody uses their, their door to open up the closet door or something to, to fan themselves to dry things down. Because you don't want, I mean, we layer stuff like crazy. Um, but you don't want to be super sticky when you're doing your uh, talc. So I'm still, I'm still using the, this is just a um, plus off knot in a Shave Revolution handle. Um, it was like one of the first brushes I ever used. We're going to use uh, Yardley Equity today. It's not putting a ton on, but I like it to come out nice and slow. Like I said, my, my tactic is I hold the brush upright to get the neck. Get the, so we don't have big puffs of talc coming out. 
Mmm, this stuff's really good, guys. Well, maybe I will keep you on that since we did this. That's the last step. So we can go ahead and finish off where did I put it. This is a, a gentleman's cologne, it says. You know, and the bummer is Tops has some of the worst. Well, this one's all right, but the spritzers. Maybe I just got a bad one. I got, I have their um, uh, German Street, which is an amazing scent, but the spritzer thing is just a bit Anyway, there we go. Full shade for you. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, old guy Zoom call tonight uh, for the cadre. And I'll see you on the forums.